In this lesson, we're going to talk about the characteristics of sinus tachycardia. We're also going to break down each of the steps to learn how to identify it on an EKG. So in sinus tachycardia, the SA node initiates the electrical conduction just like a normal sinus rhythm. The only difference is that it is beating at a rate greater than 100 beats per minute. Click the link below or visit nursing.com slash NFN for a free NCLEX ebook covering the 77 key topics. So let's recap these characteristics. Our rhythm is a regular rhythm. Our heart rate is 110 to 115 beats per minute. Our P to QRS ratio is one to one. Our PR interval is normal. Our QRS complex is normal. So our rhythm is sinus tachycardia. Okay, so when you have a patient with sinus tachycardia, the first thing that you need to do is assess them. Are they stable or are they unstable? Sometimes patients who are stable and are tachycardic, they may still have some, some signs and symptoms. However, they, if they are unstable, they will report having a rapid heartbeat, palpitations, and lightheadedness. They will also have a decreased cardiac output, which will um, cause them to have shortness of breath, chest pain, and hypotension. Let's look at our heart. Our heart is responsible for sending blood to the brain, to the lungs, to the body, and to the heart itself. So when the heart is contracting really, really, really fast, it does not have enough time to fill up with blood. So if it does not have enough time to fill up with blood, the stroke volume is gonna be decreased. And this is why people complain of shortness of breath or chest pain or hypotension and, and the lightheadedness. So after you determine the patient's signs and symptoms, you gotta find out the causes. If you can find out why they are tachycardic, it is so much easier to treat them. So these are some of the common causes. Fever. Fever increases the metabolic demands, which is why people become tachycardic. Dehydration, hypotension, and anemia. What this does is it decreases the blood volume in the circulatory system. So because of that, the heart will compensate and it increases so that it can increase the cardiac output. Anxiety and fear. Do you remember that good old fight or flight? Well, when that kicks in because of anxiety and fear, it just increases the heart rate. And pain. Pain increases all vital signs, but specifically tachycardia. If you need more help breaking down complex topics like this one, make sure to head over to nursing.com slash NFN. Click the link in the description below or Scan the QR code to unlock your free NCLEX review that covers 77 must-know nursing topics. Make sure that you learn this, that we love you guys. Now go out, be your best self today, and as always, happy nursing.